guys! Welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to matrices. We're going to tackle two main topics. First, what is a matrix? And second, what are all the parts and pieces of a matrix? So let's start with what is a matrix? Well, a matrix is a way of organizing information. It is a rectangular array built with rows and columns that houses information for us. So that leads us to the second piece of information. What are all the pieces of a matrix? Let's start with rows. Rows run horizontally and they contain the horizontal line of entries. So here we start at the top with row one. Directly below that we have row two and we continue with as many rows as we need. So that number of rows can be anything between one and really any number. Similarly, running in a vertical direction from top to bottom there, we have columns. So columns, we start on the far left with column one and move to the right with column two and all the way over to column C. Each entry falls into some row and some column. So if we take a particular entry, let's say this one here, we can look at these little indices here, or this little lower two one to tell what row, what column we are in. So when we write these, the number on the left tells us what row that entry is in, and the number on the right tells us what column we are in. So this entry, A21, is in row number two, column number one. In general, any given entry can have the form A, R, C, kind of like arc, that can help you remember where again, R stands for what row the entry is in and C stands for what column the entry is in. Rows and columns also help us talk about another aspect of a matrix, which is its dimensions. Dimensions of a matrix, that's just another way of really talking about the size of a matrix. We state our dimensions by first stating rows, how many rows we have. We usually use a big X for by, and then we state the number of columns. So for example, a four by two matrix would have four rows and two columns. So if we were to draw that, we would have one, two, three, four rows. So thinking from top to bottom, one, two, three, four rows. And what I've drawn so far is one column. So now I need a second column also with four rows. So one, two, three, four. So there would be my little example matrix with four rows and two columns. So let's take a look at some pre-done, pre-filled in matrices and tell what the dimensions of each one of those matrices is. So let's start over here in the top left. Example one here. This matrix filled with negative three, five, negative two, one. Let's give the dimensions. Well, once again, dimensions come row by column. So we need to first count up how many rows. Well, one, two rows in this one by how many columns? Well, one, two. So this matrix in example one is a two by two matrix. Moving on to our next one, example two, this long, tall matrix here, let's give its dimensions. So first we count up the number of rows, one, two, three, four rows. So it is a four by, then we count up the number of columns. I only have one column, so this is what we call a four by one matrix. 
All right, take a second. Try to answer questions three and four. When you're ready, unpause and we'll go through those. Okay, so example three, we have one, two, three rows. So that's gonna be a three by one, two, three, four columns. So example three is a three by four matrix. And example four, counting up our rows first, we have one, two rows by one, two, three columns. So example four is a two by three matrix. All right, guys, that does it for this video on introduction to matrices. Catch us in the next video to see one example of what a matrix can be used for. Until then, see you next time.